further, this time we will try to discuss about concentration of solutions and we'll talk about calculation. So, last time we discussed about qualitative uh, description. We, we, term, uh, we use the term diluted as well as concentrated. This topic will teach us on calculations or quantitative description of solution. Expressing concentrations quantitatively, quantitatively can be, number one, it is expressed as the amount of solute per unit volume. Therefore, we usually use percentage for us to describe. We, uh, it, it is also can be expressed as percent by volume. And it can be expressed as percent by mass, such, such as percent V over V. And we use this symbol percent mass over mass. So we have here the general formula of concentration of solution or per, uh, percentage of solution. We have percent concentration is equals to amount of solute divided by amount of solution times 100. However, it can, we could also use or we, it could be expressed as percent by mass over volume. So, this is the general formula, percent concentration, which is amount of solute times 100 divided by amount of solution. Now, take note what is the composition of solution. So, this will be an, an, an alternative formula for uh, concentration. We have still amount of solute divided by the composition of solution is simply amount of solute plus amount of solvent and therefore times 100. So, if we're going to use mass, okay, we will use this unit grams or kilograms. Therefore, we have this general formula percent mass over mass. We have mass of solute divided by mass of solution times 100 or Percent mass of solute, grams or kilograms, divided by mass of solute plus mass of solvent times 100. We also have uh, volume, okay? We could also use volume and we all know that volume can be, the unit of volume could be ml or liter. The formula is just the same. However, we're just going to replace ml if we're going to use volume, we'll use ml for solute and solution. So the other alternative formula would be percent volume over volume equals volume of solute over volume of solute plus volume of solvent times 100. So take note the difference between the mass and the volume. Okay? Now, we also have uh, another formula which is percent mass over volume. We have mass of solute by grams or kilograms divided by volume of solution which is ml or liter. So now, let's try to have this pro uh, sample problem number one. 60 grams of copper is prepared in 150 grams alloy of bronze. What is the percentage amount of copper in an alloy? Let's try to solve this problem. We will use the GRESA format. We have given, then what is the required, what is the equation, solution, and finally, the answer. For the given, we have 60 grams of copper. And take note that 60 grams of copper is the solute. And this 150 grams, which is the alloy, we should take note that this is the, sol that this is the solution and not the solvent. So what is the required here? We are, we are requiring the percent amount of copper. What is the equation? We have, basically we have two equations, percent mass over mass is mass of solute, and then this would be the other equation, mass of solute divided by mass of solute plus mass of solvent. Then, but the question here is, what is the formula that we're gonna use? So upon looking for uh, upon looking on our given, 
the formula would be the equation number 1. Okay? So, we could plug it also. We could use this triangle method wherein the, the, on the top we have mass of solute. On the left side, we have percent mass over mass. And on the other side, we have the mass of solution. Okay? Now, if we're gonna look for mass of sol uh, mass of solution, this one mass of solute divided by percent mass over mass. If we're referring on this relationship, we have percent mass over mass times mass of solution. And if we're referring on these two uh, two relationship, we have mass of solute divided by mass of solution. So, the general formula would be the equation number 1 based on, on our given. Let's try to plug in to our solution, percent mass over mass. We have 60 grams divided by 150 grams, then times 100, we just press our calculator. And therefore, we have percent mass over mass is equivalent to 0.40 times 100, and that is... 40%, okay? We have 40% mass over mass. Meaning to say, uh, we use grams as our unit. Let's look on our sample problem number 2. 175 ml of rubbing alcohol is prepared in a 250 ml of alcohol solution. What is the percentage of alcohol expressed in percent volume over volume? So this time, let's look on our given our given is 40 ml alcohol, and that is the solution, and we have 250 ml solution, okay? And note that this 250 ml is not the solvent. So what is the required? Simply the percentage of alcohol. The equation is the same, volume of solute. This time we're talking about volume, so therefore we are replacing it with ml or liter. So among these two equations, which one we should be using? Is it equation 1 or equation 2? Definitely, we have uh, equation 2 is uh, not, uh, it is not the formula. It is not a plausible formula. Therefore, we have equation number 1. Okay? Still, we're going to use this triangle method. Okay? Later, you're going to see the importance of this triangle method. Okay? So, this will be our formula and then apply our solution. We have percent volume over volume. We have uh, simply divided 175 ml divided by 250 ml times 100. And then therefore, the answer is, okay, we have here uh, 0.70 times 100. And we have 70% of alcohol solution. How about this sample problem number 3? 200 ml of ethanol is mixed in 800 ml of water. What is the percentage of alcohol expressed in volume over volume? Now, let's try to analyze this uh, problem. Let's try to look at their given. The given will be here, 200 ml ethanol. And basically, this 200 ml ethanol, that is the solute. And 800 ml is the water. So what is this? This is the solvent. Now, what is the required? This is the percentage amount of ethanol. What will be our equation? We have two equations. But this time, we're going to use the second equation. Okay? So we have volume of solute divided by volume of solute plus volume of solvent times 100. So what is the solution? Percent V over V equals 200 ml. So we have here volume of solute. Okay? So we have, that is 200 ml plus... What is the volume of solvent? Okay, we're going to add it up. Which is, we all know that it is 800 ml. Okay, and then, so times 100. What happened to my 800 ml? It is gone. Okay, so that is simply 0 0.2 times 100. And that is 20%. Okay. 20% of what? 20% volume over volume. Take note that I have here uh, 800. That is actually 200 divided by 1,000. Okay? 
Next, let's do now for our sample number, uh, prob uh, sample problem number four. 50 kilograms of sugar is prepared in a 432 liters of solution. What is the percentage concentration of sugar solution expressed in percent mass over volume? This time again, this is simple, right? So we still have the given 50 kilograms of sugar, 432 liter of solution, and then of course we all know that 50 kilogram is a solute and the 432, take note, that is not the solvent but it is the whole solution. What is the required? Percent concentration of sugar solution. Same equation, we have percent mass over mass. This time, mass of solute divided by volume of solution. Okay, so we have this formula. Let's do now our plugging in. So we have 50 kilograms divided by 432 liter times 100. So we have here the answer, percent mass over volume, 11.574. We round it off times 100. Let's try to round it off into tenths decimal place, so 11.6, because 5 is with uh, the, after 5 it is uh, 7. So 11.6% of what? 11.6% mass over volume. So now, uh, sample problem number 5, 40% of muriatic acid is prepared in 300 ml solution. What is the volume of muriatic acid used? So this time, the given will be 40% concentration of solution. And we have 300 ml solution. And take note that the 300 ml, uh, that is not actually the uh, solution, but it's actually the 300 ml is not uh, the solvent, but it is the solution. Take note, you might get wrong out of this, okay? 300 ml is the solution. So what is the required? Volume of muriatic acid used, okay? That is the solute. And what is the equation? The equation would be percent volume over volume, that is volume of solute divided by volume of solution times 100. Now, let's explore more on this magic triangle formula. So we have this fireworks, okay? So take note, the volume of solute is on the upper side. Volume of solution is on the other side. We have it on, the, on this side, okay? And uh, the percent volume over volume, okay? So it is on this side. So we'll use our hands, okay? Now, we're looking for what? We're looking for volume of muriatic acid or for the solute. Therefore, we're going to cover that volume of solute with our hands. Okay, let me try to cover it. Okay, so... Therefore, what will be our formula? Volume of solute is equal to percent V over V times volume of solution. So therefore, that is our formula. And what is the solution? Volume of solute equals 40%. And we all know that 40% in math is simply 0.40 times 300 ml. And then therefore, the answer is volume of solution that is 120 ml. So in order for me to make a 40% muriatic acid, I have to use 120 ml muriatic acid in a 300 ml solution. Okay? Let's do now our sample problem number 6. This time, vitamin C is known as ascorbic acid. A pharmaceutical company wants to manufacture 75% mass over mass of vitamin C. If the ascorbic acid used is 375 grams, what is the mass of the whole vitamin C tablet that should be prepared? So this time, let's try to explore. The given is 75% vitamin C concentration. We have also 375 grams. Take note that 375 grams is the solute. Now, what we are required? We are required for the mass of tablet vitamin C. And then therefore, we are looking for the mass of the solution. So what is the equation? We have here our equation. It's the same. But we're going to also use the triangle method. So let's try to see, of course, percent mass over mass on this side. Okay. And then mass of solute is on the upper side. 
and the mass of solution is on that side okay so that will be our uh, operation now we'll again use our hand this time we are covering the mass of solution therefore what is the formula so mass of solution is simply equal to mass of solute and then since therefore we have here divide so we're gonna use division divided by percent mass over mass okay let's try to do now solution mass of solute solution equals to 375 grams divided by 75 percent and in mathematics what is 75 percent that is simply 0.75 so what is our answer mass of solute 375 divided by uh, 0.75 we have 500 grams okay so therefore we're going to use 500 grams of vitamin c template okay so therefore what we have discussed so far about solution we almost discuss everything we discuss types of solutions we discuss about solubility the term diluted and concentrated we also discuss factors affecting solubility and this video discuss about calculations regarding concentration of solution thank you very much for watching the video and i hope that you learned something for solutions and uh you try to answer some of the worksheets that is being presented by your teacher. Thank you very much.